Hi everybody, welcome back to Paper Lemons. I'm Lorraine and I've got a tutorial for you. Now we have the simplest tool here. It's called the um, Crocodile Big Bite. Check it out. Is that like the cutest thing? Super easy. And then we have the, um, just the Crocodile, just a smaller one. So it's just a small handheld and this one's a little bit bigger. It looks like one of those big, um, staplers, like industrial size staplers. So I am gonna show you how to use it. It's super simple, super quick, and you are gonna love it. It's really easy on the hands for people that have older aged hands like I do. You know, some of the squeezing motions and with your arts and crafts kind of, you know, wear your hands out by the end of the day. But if you're gonna be doing a lot of this with the crocodile, big bite, then, it's just gonna save save so much time and just a lot of um, pain that you won't have so anyways let's get to it so I just have a piece of paper here I'm just gonna tear it and I'm just gonna make like one little signature like a pretend book signature and here's another one here so hope you guys are doing good I've missed you I haven't been here for a few weeks or haven't been on here for a few weeks. I've been kind of busy, so I do apologize. But I am back. So, okay, so I've got four sheets here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and fold, and make a small signature, and get my bone folder here. Just make a nice crease. Let's do the other one here. Just a simple little crease here. And hope you guys are doing good with the heat. It's pretty warm here. I think it got up to about 100 degrees today. We've got a lot of humidity. We have like the clouds, like the monsoon type storms coming in and out. I'm in Southern California, so I haven't really received that much rain, unfortunately. We're in a drought, aren't we always? So, okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put these pages together like this. I'm gonna make a signature for a book. So what you can do is you can either just hold it like this, if your hands are steady and you don't feel like the pages will slip, or you can take like a little clip. I got these at Dollar Tree, and you can just clip it together on both sides, just like that, super simple, just to hold it in place, just in case you know your, your hands slip or something. So what we're gonna do, um, this one here, let me start with this one. This one comes with a little case, a little carrying case, which is really cool. And it came with some eyelets. And there's different colors. There's, let's see, it looks like the black, the white, the silver, and like a, a bronze type color. So what we're gonna do is with this one, you can see here there's different sizes so right here this one is the um, 3 16th inch hole punch and if you look if you look right here you can see the part that sticks out it look it's gonna punch the hole in the paper this one over here I believe is the 1 8 inch I'm sorry let's do this so you can see that right there. So we're gonna use that one, I believe. No, we're gonna use the bigger one. So I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna punch a hole. Actually, I'm gonna do it this way. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Where's that? Okay, it's gonna be right here. Typically, let me just say, typically you're gonna like make a pencil mark where you want your hole, right? depending on how many um, eyelets you want to put in, how you want to line up your signatures in your book. It just depends. So you're, you're probably going to want to put like a pencil mark where you want the hole. But for the sake of just this tutorial and this, this signature really isn't going to go anywhere, I'm just going to make the hole as it is. I'm just going to do this. And you can see right on top, the hole right there, you can see where it's at. So you can find where that pencil mark is. Just make a hole, just punch, and then I'm gonna do 
another one, but you know what? There you go. This is the reason I use both of these because this does not go any farther. So that's where this one comes in. The crocodile, big bite, right here. So you can see where it goes, that you can put your paper in all the way. You can go all the way in, bigger pieces of paper. So what you're gonna do is on the top, there's three sixteenth hole and then the one eighth hole. It's right here. So we're doing the three sixteenth. So go ahead and move that over. So it's three sixteenth and you'll see, see the big, the big punch right there and the one eighth, oops, the one eighth is the smaller one. So we're gonna do the three sixteenths right there. Okay, so then what you do, you just go in like this. You don't really, you, you're, you don't have a way to look down on top of it. So what you can do, you can look to the side. You can see, see where the, the um, thing is gonna poke through. So let's just say our pencil mark is like right there, okay? There it is. You can even line it up to see where it's gonna punch in. And press. Super simple, just like that. And then you can either go back this way and punch the other one or because it will fit all the way, just to show, I'm gonna go do this and I'm gonna punch it right there. Okay. It's very simple, it's easier than a stapler. Sometimes staplers are kinda of tough to do. Okay, so now we've got our holes. And what you wanna do with your eyelet, let's get a, let's see get a black one here because I'm gonna be able to see it. So it's just one piece, just like that. If you can see how it looks. So this comes with directions and it has the different shapes, different uh, sizes of, um, I just have it set on the one that I need. So I haven't really tried the other ones yet. But what you're gonna do is you're going to Put this in. This is how I did. Whoops, 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 whoops. I'm gonna put this in the hole like this on the outside because this is the pretty side. Okay. And then see how the, the you've got the little knobby there right over here. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put it in and it's gonna line up. Whoops, that's not the one. Sorry. Let's put it over here because this is the hole I made with the with the handheld. <laughs> I know I'm all over the place with this thing. Let me scoot this over a little bit. Okay, so now you're gonna put this in, and that little knob is gonna go right in there. See? Oops, not too close. Sorry. See how that round part is going in there? So you just give it a good squeeze and it's in there, and it flattens it. It opens it up and then it flattens it on the back. See? Super cool. There might be a different way that you do it. Some people, I think, put the eyelet on here and then put it on, so we're gonna have to do um, use the big bite for the other two holes. So let's see. Let's get another one here. Actually, I want to use some of my colored ones. I bought a, a little case of the colored ones. They're kind of cute for different crafts, different uh, colors of um, the books, the journals. So this one is the wrong one because, why is that the wrong one? Well, that should be right. Let's just do this. I'm sorry, I'm all over the place again. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna put that in there like that. Pretty side, pretty side up. And see, it's got that, it's like a little volcano looking nubby. And then the, the uh, little piece right there is gonna go into, watch. 
Can you see? I'm trying to stick it in there like that. Oops. Oh my gosh. Sorry, I forgot. Um, just have to take the this thing off. Yeah, I have a feeling I'm gonna be recording this over again. Okay, here we go. And voila, it's on there. That one turned up really nice. Kinda looks like spider. <laughs> and that's it.